Hi, my name is Khan and welcome to the new chapter. In this chapter, we are going to learn that what is entry type and how we can identify which criteria you should follow to before enter in a trade. So in this chapter, we are going to talk about only chalk entry, how you can take entry based on chalk. Chalk means change of character when price tap on your PY zone. Then when price tap on your PY zone, then how you can take trade in a lower time frame. If you are using 15 minute as a higher time frame, then one minute for the entry as I mentioned. But if you are using H1 as a higher time frame, then you can use five minute for the entry time frame. But if you are using four hour as a higher time frame, then you have to take entry based on the 15 minute as per our entry plan. So this time frame you have to must be follow during the chalk entry module. And you can also use five minute for the higher time frame in a stock market in also session timing which is already mentioned in a previous chapter so when press tap on your py zone then how you can trade in a lower time frame when press tap on your py zone or sweep the previous measure high or low or you can say sweep the inducement and maybe sweep the previous measure swing high or low session high or low maybe so how you can trade in a one minute time frame in a lower time frame so first of all we use change of character change of character means chalk and we use in a lower time frame for confirmation when market tap on py zone and switch into lower time frame confirmation and market break the first recent high or low that's called change of character let me show you on diagram then i will switch into real chart then you can understand very easily and very quickly so what happening here look at this one this is our higher time frame py or maybe you can say previous measure high sweep here and this is our lower time frame structure and so what happening here when press tap your previous higher time frame supply then you have to switch immediately in a lower time frame then you have to wait for to break the previous recent low in a bullish market so this one is our called change of factor is here why because this one is our bullish momentum is here but if price not tap here any supply or any py zone so this low act like an inducement as we know just below it you can see here this low act like our inducement this is a not chalk why because price not tap here any supply any py zone that's why we mark this is our inducement if price tap on your supply zone any py zone then market break the first recent low this one is a called change of character so this one is our change of character and press tap on your py zone and maybe sweep the previous measure high so what happened here you can see here when market break this low in this case price can be break this low and can be sweep and can be close below it so it doesn't matter in both scenario these are valid but you have to wait for additional confirmation for the inducement if price create inducement then you can sell if price not create any inducement because once price broke this one and sometime what happened here and you are looking here for sell because market create here order block then don't try to sell here and this one is our smt smart money trap why because price must be create inducement before the sell must be sweep the previous measure high or low then you can sell okay so in this scenario what happened here market push downside and maybe sweep and sometime close it doesn't matter in both scenario this one is a valid so what happened in some time market continue go higher and break this one okay so what happened here you have to wait for another change of character okay and this is a not a change of factor this become our inducement why because market not create any inducement is here so once market break the previous high which one is here and then what happened here break this low at this point and this become our change of factor and this entry is still a valid here but when we can sell here we can sell here market must be create inducement something like this and then market continue go higher mitigate this order block which one is unmitigated then you can sell here this one is our first criteria when we can sell and what is a next possible scenario in this case what happen if market continue push downside as i mentioned here right and create inducement something like this okay then when we can sell here sometime you will see this is our inducement but before the buy or sell price must be taken out the inducement and after taking out the inducement price continue go higher high and create any unmitigated order block is here find here okay simply you can sell here and then put the stop loss just above it okay so this one is our safer entry for the sell because valid change of character is here taken out the inducement and sell don't try to sell here because this one is our smt without inducement without take to receive you are selling it means you are smt so same thing happen here so you can sell in a, another scenario if market what happened here if market taken out this inducement in this side you will see there is no unmitigated order block everything is mitigated in that case what criteria you should follow before the enter here so you can take another entry if market taken out this inducement 
at this point you can sell here as per our single candle order block as you know market create a single candle order block before the enter so this one is our first scenario when market create a chalk and inducement and you can enter here now let me show you another diagram which one is here in the next diagram you can see here this one is our chalk without inducement in this case you don't need to wait for chalk you can immediately sell after taking out the previous high. let me explain here when market tap your PUI zone and sweep this higher time frame is here and then what happened here you have to follow similar rule is here after chalk you can sell here look at this one this one is our change of character you can immediately sell here on this case right here okay so why we are looking here for sell without inducement but you have remember one thing this high must be sweep by this move if market taken out this minor high the buy next move then you can immediate sell without inducement if inducement create which is okay if not create then you can also sell here because this move also taken out the liquidity and this candle must be closed just below it right to confirm uh, this one is a liquidity taken out so after change of character you can immediate sell here without inducement in this case you can see here market break this high okay but close above it okay so you have to wait for chalk and inducement for additional confirmation before enter then market break this one and create a new inducement is here and you can sell here like this so these are entry module when market tap on your py zone and you have to remember only two things if market break the previous low which one is here this one is our change of character and you have to remember one thing if previous this high close of it or not if close our it, then you have to wait for taking out the inducement before the enter and if there is not any unmitigated order block left is here everything is mediated here then you have to take entry as per our single candle order block but price must be taken out this inducement then you can enter at this point look at this okay so simply you can sell here as per your single candle mitigation entry i will explain all these things on chart then you can understand very easily and similar thing happen here in this case market break the previous low and this one is our change of factor this is a not inducement because market tap on your py zone if market not tap on your py zone so this one is our inducement because market momentum looking for continuation something like this okay so this one is our inducement because market momentum is a bullish and market not tap your any py zone market continue looking for the upside when market tap on your py zone when you are looking for the enter because when market tap on your py zone you are looking for the entry so when market break the first low this one is a called change of character same thing happen here change of character and you can immediate sell here on the pullback why because market taken out the previous high so this one is our chalk entry module when market break the first low or high that's called chalk and another possible scenario is here chalk with flip and flip entry module also which will be covered in a next chapter and same thing will be applicable in a bullish market when market tap on your PUI zone in a and same thing will be applicable in a bullish market when market tap on your bullish PUI bullish order block and sweep the previous major low and then what happened here similar thing will be happen in a market break the first high this one is a call change of character not inducement this one is our inducement because market not tap here because market not tap here any PUI zone so that's why this is inducement when market tap on your PUI zone and break the first high this one is a call change of character and this low broken but close below it it means you have to wait for taking out the inducement before enter because if this low sweep then you don't need to wait for inducement something like this okay so same thing same scenario will be applicable here change of character is here and wait for inducement and then you can take enter here after taking out the inducement first entry if there is any unmitigated order block then you can enter here if everything is mitigated here simply you can also buy here after taking out the inducement as per your single candle mitigation entry which is already covered in a previous chapter and few more example will be covered in the next diagram same thing happen here market tap on your bullish py and when market break the first high okay if market break the first high and this one is our change of character and market taken out the previous low which one is here and in this case you can immediate buy here without inducement because market already taken out this liquidity and simply you can buy here and put the stop loss just below it which one is here okay so this one is our second entry module is here first one is here and second one is here and this one is our chalk with inducement and this one is our chalk without inducement main thing you need to understand in a during entry period market must be taken out the inducement or liquidity sheep before the enter if there is no inducement no liquidity sheep then don't try to buy or sell there 
because you are part of SMT. Let's switch into the real chart when you can understand very easily, very quickly every point. So this is our OCST chart in a 15 minute time frame. As you can see here, market momentum is a bullish and market continue looking for the upside. And this one is our complete break of structure because market close above it. When market close above it, then you have to wait for taking out the inducement to confirm new higher high. So in this case, you have to identify first of all, where is our inducement. First of all, like is here. Okay, so I will mark this one as an inducement. Why? Because this one is our actually pullback, which is must be taken out to, to confirm this high. If market not taken out this inducement, then you have to wait for to create new inducement, something like this, go higher high. And then what happened here? Market can be take this inducement and tap unmediated order block and go higher high. Okay, so this is a first possible scenario. And this is a not a valid inducement because this is not a valid as per our entry plan as you know you can see here this candle high is not broken by the next candle and this candle break the previous candle low this is an inside bar if this candle break the previous candle high so this become our valid pullback in this case this candle high and low both are protected here that's why this is a not a valid pullback as per our valid pullback theory okay so what happening here this is our actual pullback and market must be taken out this pullback to confirm the higher high so let's see what happen next after this one and remember one thing when market taken out the inducement simply you have to find where is our unmitigated order block before the buy so in this case, where is our next order block? Look at this. This one is our unmitigated order block. Proper imbalance is here. Okay. So in future, if market tap here, definitely we are looking here for buy. And this is a complete putting all together video using chalk entry module. So simply, first of all, you have to mark the structure is here and wait for taking out the inducement, then you can buy. And the next possible scenario is here on the extreme point. So only two PY actually work after taking out the inducement and after taking out the engineering liquidity or you can say on tap on the extreme order block. So in this case, where is our next order block? Look at this one. This one is our proper order block is here. Okay. So this one is our second order block at this point. And if there is any other order block just below it. So you have to check here. Look at this one. This is our unmitigated order block is here. So these three order blocks are here and you don't need to confuse here. You have to just focus on first order block and extreme order block middle of the order block are smt okay so simply you have to wait for to mitigate this order block if price type here and switch into lower time frame in a one minute then you can take anti as per our chalk anti module if market not if market not hold this level and then go higher high okay and then what happened here you can start selling here till this level okay but i'm not showing you sell or buy i'm just showing you that how you can identify valid PUI and how you can play in a lower time frame. So this one is our two, three PUI is here. So first one is here and third one is here. So these two PUI actually work and you don't need to play here because this one is our SMT. Every order block can be your PUI. Okay. Like this. So these are all SMC parties here. And this one is also someone mark this one as an order block and these are a lot of order block is available here. But you have to focus on after taking out the inducement and extreme order block only. So let's see what happened next here after this one market pushing higher high trying to go higher. And why this move happened here? Look at this one this is our unmitigated order block and people are looking here for buy market tap here and they trying to go higher and then failed okay so this is a smt is here and this one is also smt which one is here okay so these two parts are smt in this move and only two py actually work first one is here and extreme one is here so let's see what happened next after this one so when market tap on this order block simply you can switch here in a one minute time frame then definitely you can buy here okay so first of all switch here in a one minute time frame then you can see what happening here so look at this one this one is our first py when a we can take a decision before the buy or sell so where is our chalk in this case look at this you have to mark a valid structure in this case in a lower time frame so this low is our lowest point why because market break the previous low which one is here and this low broken this low like this okay so lowest point is here this one is our actual valid pullback is here let me show you exactly because the bullish candle break the previous candle low and the next candle break the previous candle high so this become our valid pullback is here simply you can mark this as our chalk and if this bullish candle not break this low so this become our valid chalk okay and this one is our change of character and look at this one this low broken this one and close below it when market close below it 
in a bullish market so what criteria you should follow before this buy you have to wait for ticking out the inducement if same low sweep this candle and close our bid so you can simply buy here without inducement okay so you have to just focus here to follow the inducement before enter so let's see what happened next here and wait for to create inducement is here right now there is a no inducement is here okay look at this why this move happen here and if you are trying to buy here on this bullish order block okay so this is a not a valid deal why because market not create there is no inducement if market create any inducement is here then definitely you can buy here right and one more thing you have to remember this is a not inducement is here inducement not in a right side inducement always the broken side this side broken structure so you will see inducement in the side okay this is a not inducement these are not inducement these are internal structure between this high and between this low okay so it means this is a not a valid structure here for buy and you don't need to buy here at this point okay so now where is our next py is here in this case first of all check in a 15 minute time frame and wait for mitigate the extreme order flock which one is here and you don't need to buy here by because this one is smt so let's see what happen next after this one okay look at this why this move happening here because lot of smc trader introduce here for buy and they are planning to buy here every order block they are marking and playing in a lower time frame which is a not good you have to identify which is our high probability buy which is our high probability order block when we can take decision for the buy and sell so let's see what happened next after this one okay all right so let's see a lot of people are introduced here for buy they are anticipating this is another order block is here and they again introduce here for the buy and they putting the stop loss just below it then what happened here look at this one let's see so why this move happening here because everyone buying here they buying because this is a proper order block proper imbalance is here but there is no other reason to buy here just order block order block is a not only smc order block is a not smc you have to wait for to mitigate unmitigated extreme order block or you can take another entry after taking out the inducement simply only two order block actually work after inducement and extreme enough and if anything create between the inducement between the high between the extreme and inducement then you don't need to buy or sell right what happen if this order block already mitigated by this move okay and this one is our inducement okay and this one is our order block only one is here right so simply you can buy here in that case right but if you have one more order block is here on extreme level then you can take decision on both order block why because only two order block are available here for buy right i hope you understand what i am trying to explain here okay so let's see what happen next here after this one and market looking for the upside but lot of people are introduced here for buy as a smc trader so let's see what happen next here let's extend this one okay and why i am marking this one as a order block let's explain this one first of all this one is our bearish candle is here which is our actual order block is here right but why we are not using this one because this bullish candle break the first one so this become our invalid and you can use this as a order block right at this point but why we are not using this one because this candle not a proper imbalance okay the next candle just sweep this one and third candle close of it it means we can carry forward this high to the next candle which one is here and now you can see very minor imbalance is available here right so this is our proper imbalance and we can use this candle as a, a proper puy right so this one is here right so we can use entire candle as a puy and also you can use the shadow is here if this order block is already mitigated by this move something like this right so this become our also puy which one is here because this shadow is not mitigated by the next candle but if you have already unmitigated order block then you don't need to mark this shadow is here okay so let's wait for to mitigate this order block then you can switch in a one minute time frame for entry criteria so let's see what happened next here okay so finally market mitigate our order block is here now you have to switch in a one minute time frame to see exactly that how you can trade in a one minute time frame so let's see so this one is our one minute structure is here and uh, you have to identify where is our chalk in this case before to confirm a chalk you have to identify where is our valid pullback look at this one this one is our chalk no this is a not chalk why because this one is a not a valid pullback this bearish candle and the next two candle are inside bar of this candle high and low if anything create between this high or low this is a not a valid pullback because both high and low are protected is here 
okay so where is our first pullback first pullback is here okay so this one is our change of character is here price must be break this high if market break this high then definitely we can take entry here if market not taken out this high and if market create another pullback is here possibly is here because market break this high so this become our valid pullback and market can be go higher and push downside like this okay so this high become our new change of character something like this so let's see what happened next here okay let's see all right so what happened here as you can see here market pick the previous high which one is here and this become our change of character is here why because this one is our actual pullback is here this is a not actual pullback because this is an inside bar between this high and this low right so this is a not a valid pullback as we have learned already okay so in this case as you can see when market break the first high which one is here in this case if market break the previous high and sweep this high so this become our valid chalk no need to candle close or above it if close above it which is also good if not close above it which is also fine right because we are already tap on your higher time frame py simply you have to take a decision in a lower time frame very aggressively that's why we can't wait here to candle closer right so in this case where is our pullback because this one is our change of character and why we are looking here for inducement why not directly buy entry because the previous pullback is here something like this okay and this pullback broke this low and candle close below it if candle close below it then you need inducement before the buy if not candle close below it just sweep the liquidity and go higher high then definitely you can buy immediately without inducement right so let's see what happened next here and this one is our change of character where is our pullback this low why because the previous candle low taken out so this one is our valid inducement is here so this become our inducement and after taking out the inducement you can buy here so you can see after taking out the inducement how many order block is available here look at this one first one is here this become our valid order block why the previous candle is here okay because this candle taken out the previous candle low and candle close below it so you can simply take this one also and this one also right both are valid because shape and size are similar so this one is our first entry when uh, we can take enter here the next possible entry where is our next possible order block and don't try to mark this is order block no this is a not order block candle color is not matter in to identify order block out of lock means which taken out the liquidity proper imbalance so in this case there is a no valid pullback there is no liquidity sieve okay so we can't buy here so this one is our actual first py when we can take decision for the buy and where is our next order block look at the bottom side this is our last selling candle before the buy which is already mitigated by this move right so this is a not a valid only one order block use only one time the next order block is here right here okay this one is also last selling candle before this buy which is already mitigated by the third candle so how you can use in this case where is our next order block the next order block is here why because this is our proper imbalance and this is a valid pullback taken out the liquidity is here which one is here okay if there is not liquidity taken out which is also fine but must be a valid pullback to confirm a valid order block right so this is a liquidity sieve and we can extend the next order block like this one is a filled so we can expand the next one which one is here this is unmitigated right so simply we can buy here and buy here so these are two order block when uh, we can take decision for the buy so first one is as you know this one is our 50 50 percent probability after taking out the inducement is a 50 50 percent probability and the next high probability is here on the x team if there is no order block is here okay only one order block is here then definitely you can take decision here for buy because you have only one chance is here for the buy right but when you have a multiple chance for the buy after taking out the inducement and second one on the extreme the extreme is always high probability at this time if you wanna looking for the buy then you can follow one more thing simply when press tap here to finding too many order blocks then you have to wait for to mitigate this one and simply you can buy as per single candle order block single candle close above it and you can buy here in that case you can buy here don't try to buy here immediately in the first scenario if you have one more order block on the extreme at this point you can directly buy here because this one is our extreme order block you don't need to wait for the single candle order block at this point because this one is extreme right and this one is our decisional get more additional confirmation then definitely you can also follow the single candle mitigation rule is here for the buy is here okay in that case your entry will be reduced risk entry and for safer side and you can get high probability entry for the buy like this
okay so let's see what happened next here and this is a very important okay so market taking out the inducement and trying to go higher all right but market still not mitigate this one so you have to wait for it okay finally market mitigate this one and then what happened here as you can see here gives a small reaction at this point and not create any single candle order block is here right so you can't buy here you don't need to buy here you have to wait for confirm single candle order block and this one is a not single candle order block right this is a just inside bar this candle low is a taken out by the bullish candle this is a dozy candle or inside bar right so don't try to make uh, this is a inside bar candle and this is a valid single candle order block no this is a not a single candle order block right because the dozy are indecisional and this is a bearish candle taken out the bullish candle low so actual must be candle close above it this high right so if candle close above it then definitely you can take a risk here for the buy but take small risk okay because if you are taking 1% risk then at this time you can take 0.5% risk at this time because this is a decisional and this one is our high probability because this one is our extreme level so let's see what happen next after this one okay so when market tap here then definitely you can buy here at this time first entry is here and where is your stop loss in this case always they put the stop loss safer side we just pull back this one right if you are willing to put stop loss just below it so this one is also fine but remember one thing this can be hit by because market actual pullback is here right for safer side always put the stop loss just below it and don't worry about risk reward because 7 r more better than 12 bar 15 r even that case your stop loss hit which is not good okay always focus on to protect your stop loss and make profitable trade main thing is your to protect your stop loss and take profit right so this one is our 8 r okay but if you are billing that you are putting the stop loss just below it in that case almost 12 hour around okay but in future if market hit your stop loss and go higher you are in loss okay to achieving 11 hour but if you are putting the stop loss just below it which is 8 hour which is very fine if your trade gone in your favor right so remember these things to protect your stop loss is a very important it doesn't matter there is a no rule that you have to put a stop loss only two pips or one pips no you have to put your stop loss as per your plan as per your structure so let's see this is our first entry is here and put the stop loss just below it which is here right so let's see what happened next here all right and uh, i want to mention one more thing is here if you wish that if you miss a first trade is here right and you are looking for buy here at this time and you are thinking that this trade is a miss then you can also buy here as per single candle mitigation entry as you can see here this candle low broken by this candle and this is our single candle mitigation entry is here let me show you exactly because this candle low broken by this one and this candle is a close next candle above it right so simply you can buy here on this pullback first one is here so look at this this one is our next entry and stop loss must be put the stop loss just below it right if you are willing to put a stop loss just below it this is a uh, same thing happen here uh, maybe stop loss it and this is a not safe stop loss don't try to catch big rr it's not matter main thing to protect your stop loss so this is our next possible entry is here and uh, why we are taking this one as an entry and why not uh, taking this one because this one is also bullish candle but this candle is not close above the previous candle because this was the previous candle and this candle low taken out the next bullish candle right so that's why this is a not a valid like this so the next entry is here so let's see what happened next here in this case and look at this just below it there is no unmitigated order block is here okay so let's see what happened next here so what happening here market taking out this low is here it means market collecting all money is here most of the money are uh, taken out so if market create any single candle order block simply you can buy here because market taken out the major low is here right when market taken out the major low then simply you can buy or sell as per single candle mitigation entry and uh, one more thing you don't need to uh, trade here right if you are thinking this candle close above it this candle close above it no this is a not a valid only single candle mitigation entry use when price tap on pui or if market sweep the high or low that time okay only two times you use single candle mitigation entry so this candle taken out the liquidity it means this is our actual candle and this is our actual candle which taken out the liquidity and this one is our single candle order block which one is here let me mark this one first one is here that's why i'm marking this candle because this candle taken out the previous low liquidity which is a strong indication that if market 
again mitigate this one and definitely you can take a decision here for the buy so let's see where is our next possible entry is here right and put the stop loss just below it okay stop loss will be same and target also same and you don't need to add this entry on a same point until first entry on a break even i'm just showing you that one time you miss the trade and you can catch on second time and third time even in these three times, if you able to catch one trade, which is very enough, right? You don't need to catch three trades. So let's see what happened next here. I'm just showing you that how many possible is here for the buy. So let's see what happened next here. All right. This one is also taken out of the liquidity and candle close above it. If you wish, then you can also take another entry is here based on the single candle order block because market taken out this liquidity is here, right? This pullback taken out by this one and just close off it. That's why I'm buying here. If not, then you don't need to buy here, right? So let's see what happened next here. Market trying to go higher. This one is our previous major high and market break the previous high at this point. And when market break the previous high, you have to wait for another inducement before the buy is here, right? So this one is our another break of structure. This is our internal structure. Now you have to wait for taking out the inducement before the buy. So where is our inducement in this leg? After taking out this inducement is here, right because this one is our valid pullback is here if market taken out this inducement mitigate this order block and we can continue go higher why because market taken out this liquidity and this is already mitigated so we can shift on this order block which one is here right if market create another inducement something like this okay so we can buy after taking out this inducement and mitigate this order block which one is here and definitely go higher so let's see what happened next after this one okay all right so in this case as you can see here where is our next pullback is here look at this one this become our valid pullback as you know why because this candle taken out the previous candle low is here it means this become our valid pullback is here so let me show you exactly look at this one this where is candle taken out the previous candle low this become our valid pullback so where is our next py when are we can take a decision for the buy and sell so look at this one this one is our next order block is here and why I'm marking this one because just below it this order block is already mitigate I mean not close above it so this is a not a valid so you have to move on the next candle which one is here right because proper imbalance is here and this is a valid pullback and continue go higher so now we have a chance only two order block is here so where and when we can buy so first one as I mentioned here if market tap on the first order block and create single candle order block then definitely you can buy here and take a small risk here and the next one is here if market tap here and you can definitely take direct entry also here and if you are willing to trade based on single candle order block then you can take additional confirmation for the buy so let's see what happened next here so what happened here market break the previous high which one is here okay so what is this this become our new break of structure at this point like this right so this is a break of structure where is our inducement in this case inducement is here like this okay because this one is our first pullback after break of structure so when are we can buy in this case where is our unmitigated order block so look at this one every order block is mitigated here everything is mitigated here right there is no unmitigated order block everything is mitigated here so what are we can in this case we can buy here just below it if there is any unmitigated order block look at this one which one why because if you are thinking this is a chalk exactly this is a chalk but we can buy here why because market already tap on your 15 minute py and market not follow only one minute time frame and this is a chalk in a one minute time frame but this can be a five minute inducement right every chalk most of the time is a inducement for higher time frame okay so this can be used as a higher time frame but we can buy here but you need additional confirmation for the buy and this become our because if market break this one and this is a not chalk actually this is a five minute inducement but if you are thinking this is a chalk technically this is a chalk then how you can sell you are you are looking here sell no why because higher time frame is a bullish and you can't sell here as per one minute time frame right so you can sell if price break this low actually this is our actual low which is tap here it means this is an indication that market actually looking for the reversal to the downside still everything is a bullish so if market tap here in this case and this thing happen uh, sometime okay so you have to remember this thing that's why i took this example for you because sometime you will find this one and you are 
not able to find any inducement not able to find any unmitigated order block then that case you can take entry here for buy if this shadow taken out the this pullback liquidity is here then you can buy here without inducement is here okay because this candle taken out of the liquidity but in this case market not taken out of the liquidity so that's why we are using this is our actual inducement is here and this one is our five minute maybe inducement but i'm not talking about that you should follow five minute time frame this is a just explanation if there is any chalk then don't trust in a lower time frame is a chalk only chalk will be applicable when market tap on your higher time frame py right so let's see what happened next here and uh, this chalk is still valid and this inducement is still valid because above it there is no inducement is here and this is a not inducement as i mentioned because always inducement in a lab side which one is here right like this if price type here then definitely you can buy here but you need additional confirmation before the buy is here okay so let's see what happened next here all right this one is our first py and this one is our next py right let's see what happened next here all right so finally market type here okay when market type here and this is our first py when uh, we can take decision for the buy and what criteria you should follow before the buy you can buy here as per single candle order block so this one is our single candle order block because this candle taken out the liquidity and tap on your now you can take a decision here for the buy at this point because this one is an indication that market taken out the liquidity and tap on your py if there is no single candle order block then definitely you can buy on the next py which one is here right so let's see what happened next here after this one and you can put the buy limit is here and put the stop loss just below it this pullback low right and uh, where is our target target are similar which is our 15 minute measure high at this point okay so this one is our first entry when uh, we can take entry here for the buy because and this one is also available for the buy if market break the previous high which one is here okay because this pullback sweep the liquidity right like this okay so sweep the liquidity if market continue go higher and definitely you can buy again here okay so this entry is a valid if market break the previous high which one is here in a both scenario as per our single candle order block also liquidity sweep without inducement entry is here right so let's see what happened next here after this one okay market mitigate this one and continue go higher right so what happening here look at this one this is our change of character is here this is our micro structure is here okay and same thing will be applicable when market type on your py zone in a higher time frame so same scenario will be applicable here let me explain this thing because this one is an important thing so look at this one why i'm saying this one because the previous low was here okay and this one is also sweep but there is a no type unmitigated order block and market taken out the liquidity and after taken out the liquidity what happening here you can see here this move something like this okay and continue go higher in this case you don't need to wait for taking out the inducement before the buy so what happening here break the structure is here this bullish candle break the previous high and definitely when a we can buy here we can buy unmitigated order block where is our unmitigated order block this shadow is also mitigated this order block is also mitigated we are already in a one train and this candle is a looks very clear when we can take a decision for the buy so you can simply buy limit is here like this okay and put the stop loss just below it and safer stop loss just below it right but i'm putting the stop loss just below it because this is our actual pullback is here in this structure and the target are similar at this point now let's see what happened next after this one and uh, let's see okay so finally mitigate this order block is here and this is our single candle order block right now all right let's see what happening here and market trying to go higher like this okay so what happening market finally reached our target zone which one is here right so why this move happen here look at this one this is very important and very and this is very interesting and very important part is here when market tap on your py zone then you can use single candle order block for the additional confirmation or you can use additional or scaling entry types okay because sometime you miss first trade sometime you miss second trade but if you are looking any probability for the buy another entry then definitely you can take this trade i'm not saying you have to catch all these trade you can catch one trade if you know that exactly how you can trade in a lower time frame and how you can scale in a lower time frame based on the inducement and sweep entry right so this is an important thing and simply you can buy or sell based on the 
chalk and this is our entry module based on the change of character when price type on py zone then what criteria you should follow before the buy or sell and and you can also trade like this and same thing will be applicable when market type on your py zone so if the measure high or low you have to follow same thing on bearish market in a bullish market everywhere you can rewatch this video multiple time and this is our first entry criteria chalk with inducement and this one is our chalk without inducement you can buy here because there is no need to inducement because market already taken out the liquidity right and same thing will be applicable in a bullish market in a bearish market everywhere you can apply and you can rewatch this video multiple time this is a very interesting and very important thing because everything explain candle by candle which is very powerful so i hope you understand how actually chalk is a work and how you can take entry what criteria you should follow when market taken out the inducement if market not taken out the inducement if market create any single candle order block this is a very interesting and you can rewatch this video and apply on your chart and backtest on your data and thank you so much for watching this lesson and i will see you in the next chapter happy trading